Hi Aquarius, welcome to your love reading. This is going to be for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Venus and Rising. In this read, we're going to look at how your person feels, what their next move is going to be, and so on. Keep in mind these are general messages, so they may or may not resonate. If it doesn't, you can always check out your other placements to see what else comes up for you. What's this person's energy towards Aquarius? What's their energy towards Aquarius? Okay. All right. So some of you might be on a break because I see with the Four of Swords that this person is like, they're spending time alone doing a lot of thinking, but with the Knight of Swords, it seems like their energy is still focused on you. They might move quickly towards you very soon. Hold on a sec. What's with the Six of Pentacles? Clarify the Six of Pentacles, please. Okay. Five of Swords. So some of you, this... this some of you may have moved into this relationship quite quickly or you know started dating quickly dating this person um because i see a lot of fast movement and also the full cards so somebody may have just leaped into this and there may have been conflicts causing a break some of you may feel like you've been waiting a while for this person or you may feel like you might be waiting in vain let me see what's aquarius energy towards that person so you have something to say to this person and you do feel a connection with them you got the two of cups two of cups and the ace of wands and page of wands so with the ace of wands you feel like there could be a chance regardless but you also have some direct communication for them what went on in the recent past here in this connection the hermits okay so distance could be a virgo for some of you and the four of swords again and the four of cups so the, there was a break here there's a break somebody withdrew in this connection someone went into hermit mode someone wasn't accepting any offers here and this person they just seem to be it seems like they felt they rushed into it. They, they feel like things were happening too fast. Let me see. What's the energy of this connection for Aquarius? What's the energy of this connection? Knight of Wands. So it's not really, for a lot of you, it's not really settled, although it has the potential to be settled. There is like this time invested energy invested into this connection but with the night with the night of wands it's like still somewhat unsettled here there's some unsurety okay what does this person have to say to aquarius okay we both changed a great deal i fear you i fear you've moved on from me I must admit that I'm longing for your touch and warm embrace. When you look at me, I, sorry, when you look at me, it makes me feel worse. You see a side of me, others don't. I can't hide from you. So they feel guilt when you, when dealing with you. Cause they, I just feel like they feel that they've rushed into something and that may have caused inner conflict for them. We have, I spend a lot of time thinking about you, wishing things were, dis were different. Okay, so let me look at their feelings. person Aquarius is dealing with how do they feel about Aquarius what's their next move going to be here 
show me this person's energy Could be a Scorpio for some of you. Could be a Sagittarius or a Pisces or Cancer. Page of Cups. So they do have some type of apology for you. They do feel bad about any kind of separation or disagreement, but they, their feelings, the ace of pentacles, there is the desire for a new beginning here with the ace. With the death card is how they see in the relationship. They feel like either it's gonna transform and improve or it's gonna be over. Um, we have the will of fortune is how they're seeing you. So they may feel like your personality is unpredictable, like they feel like they can't predict your next move with the Wheel of Fortune. With the Four of Pentacles and the Moon, this person, they kind of fear that you might be holding back. We have the Moon here. They may, it could be that they fear revealing their feelings to you because the moon is here, this is as their wishes, so they kind of wish to keep certain things hidden. So there's there's a fear of revealing too much. I feel like I'm hearing overshare, you know, this is like a word that's been going around on social media, where you overshare your emotions and then you feel you regret it because you made yourself too open, too vulnerable. So that's what this person kind of fears, that they might overdo it, they might share too much. So they may hold back a little bit, but they seem to be quite patient with you, like they're waiting because, like I said, they seem to feel like they rushed the first time. So it's like taking it slow this time and just, you know, letting it happen naturally. What's blocking is a five of cups. This person does feel like they've lost you, but at the same time, they feel they've rushed. But their next move is the Knight of Swords, which is them rushing again. So maybe this is their nature. Maybe, I mean, for some of you, you could be dealing with someone who has um, Aries as their Venus sign because they tend to rush into relationships. It seems to be this person's love style where they, they kind of regret rushing, but they, they plan to rush again into your life. Um, I think they just can't help it. Maybe they don't have a lot of patience. But in the position of what you need to know is a four of swords. So they seem to be taking a break and thinking about this a lot. As it says, I spend a lot of time thinking about you, wishing things are different. So they seem to be thinking a lot at the moment while on a break. And the outcome is a three of wands. So they might find themselves just kind of waiting for you. I feel like they, they have all the patience in the world um, when it comes to waiting for you or waiting to come out of the separation. But when it comes to getting back together, they kind of can't stop themselves from rushing and from being impatient. So they can enjoy time alone, but it seems that once they get a hold of, I don't know, they just seem to have this really forceful Forceful energy for some of you, okay. What's going on with Aquarius? I don't know why this, this Knight of Swords is bothering me. I think I'll figure out why soon, but I keep I'm keep I keep being drawn to it. Show me Aquarius energy. How does Aquarius feel? What can Aquarius expect here? Going forward. How does Aquarius feel? 
있어요. 네. 그렇게 되는 거다. 감사. Some of you. Five of Swords could be a fellow Aquarius, the star. Could be a Libra. Knight of Cups. So some of you might be thinking about going forward or saying something. You kind of have mixed feelings with the chariot being there. Definitely mixed feelings, but you seem to be moving forward regardless, but with your guard kind of up. So you are seeing your person as Ace of Pentacles. Some of you, this person could have could be financially secure or they have some type of value that you can benefit from or something like that with the Ace of Pentacles. You're kind of seeing them that way. Like adding value to your life, even if it's not like material. But we have the Two of Swords, that's how you see in the relationship. Some of you may feel like there's hidden um, issues that are not being addressed. We have the Five of Swords and the King of Cups. So you may have this, um, it's like you want to avoid the conflict with the Five of Swords being your fears. You kind of want to avoid conflicts. I'm also getting the message that some of you may feel like you have been dramatic and this might push your person away. But we have the King of Cups. You are wishing for just pure love, like to express your feelings or you want them to express their feelings towards you. You do have a lot of Power within yourself to make things happen with the star in the center, making your reality what you want it to be by thinking positive. We have eight of wands as what's blocking. So that fast movement, the whole, what the hell, someone's washing something outside. The whole um, fast and <laughs> rushing, rushing type of energy is what's blocking the situation. Maybe you wanna take it slow, or you kinda of see how rushing into things is an issue, or how it just goes bad real quick. I'm also hearing easy come, easy go. We have the Eight of Swords as your next move. Some of you might be keeping yourself stuck here. Okay, I don't know, I don't see how really. But this being your next move, it's kinda of like, you probably, I feel like it has to do with your you having your guard up slightly because, well, I don't know, but it just looks like you, you could be more open, but you're choosing not to be. And it could be because they're not being open. I mean, they're hiding something. They're, they're not telling the whole their whole feelings. So with the justice card and the page of wands, it looks to me like because you had the page, you had a page earlier. I think it was a page of wands. You might go forward and give them that com that communication. Like you may be direct and straight up with them because you have the Knight of Cups. They seem to be waiting for you. So it does look like some of you end up reaching out and just being straight up with them. Um, this connection seems strong because in the position of what you need to know is justice which speaks of balance in their love reading, you both being balanced, you both being um, equal to each other, a healthy balance, but somebody needs to say something, that's the problem. Someone needs to say something here and someone needs to slow down. <laughs> Give me some insight for Aquarius and their connection here. Oh, these cars are slippery. Drama. This is what you're not wanting. Euphoria. Synchronicity and confusion. So this can, I feel like there's two sides to this connection. There's the drama and then there's the really good feeling that you feel when you're with this person. The synchronicities, focus on what you're seeing around you, numbers, signs, feathers, just like in this card. 
there may be a message for you coming from the universe but we have this confusion card so some of you might be confused at, as to why they have pulled away i feel like they just feel that they've rushed into this uh, it seems like they they plan to rush they may there may have been some harsh communication with that knight of swords they may have been forceful this person like it's either they have an aries venus or a mercury that is just really rapid like maybe mercury and gemini or something like that there's something that has this person moving quickly if i'm required to love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep the relationship going children your love life is being affected by children reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life and new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings the reading just got even more complicated because someone's someone's going to try to reconcile it could be that you reach out to them the unrequited love i feel like this is because things are on a break and things may have just kind of fizzled out a little bit i feel like this relationship is either on 10 or on zero at times it could be that your person has some maturing to do with children it could be that you have children together but it could be that they need to mature a little bit and then we have the new love so this now it's looking like this knight of cups could be a new love coming into your life or a new crush or something aside from this person so that's a whole nother that th this really is drama <laughs> because it looks like somebody new comes in Some of you may have to choose between the two, hence the two of swords. Advice for Aquarius. Okay. Work through your fears. Could be a Scorpio you're dealing with or coming into your life. You and your loved ones are safe. Cancer coming into your life or you currently dealing with a, with a cancer. Since it came up three times now. Don't let your past hold you back. Oh my gosh, Aquarius, this is so complicated. Don't let pride get in your way. Could be dealing with a Leo. What's going on here? You're running from the drama. Some of you may have uh, may have two two options. Now that I look at it, you may have two options, but I feel like this person over here. Their only issue is that they rush and they don't tell you how exactly they feel. They wish to hold back. They don't want to overshare how they feel. So it's either gonna change with this person or it's gonna end. But I see you kind of confronting them. I see you being confrontational, like being direct about what you want. So it's possible that you guys could reconcile, but for some of you, there's there's a new person kind of stirring your feelings, which now I'm being drawn to confusion. So I guess that causes confusion, but there's a connection with someone that you feel. And I f I'm feeling and I'm hearing that you can't really deny the connection. So you may feel unrequited love with one of these options and feel more connected to the other so yeah this is really a soap opera and a drama aquarius but this is what air sign readings are like they're confusing <laughs> so just know because i have no air in my chart so this is confusing for me just know that <laughs> your person this person here is waiting for you they seem to have all the patience in the world however if you, if you do give them another chance they're just gonna rush into it with you again, which may have been the problem in the past. It's gonna be a repeat of that. Not saying that it won't work out, I'm just saying they're gonna take the same approach and not really reveal too much of their feelings all at once, but they do feel remorseful and sorry for whatever they've done. 
maybe it's because they pulled away but they do have an apology for you with the page of cups so aquarius <clears throat> this is what i'm seeing for you i feel like i'm crawling out of the confusion now <laughs> check your other placements if you want to know what else to expect here leave a like if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one